do you know, I see a lot of comments in the forums and things like that. People asking the same question, can a white man be a wrestler? And I understand the confusion coming from both sides. Obviously with the origin of Rastafari. And it is a predominantly black origin. But what you're failing to understand, you're still thinking in the terms of man. And when you think in terms of man, you will only see the differences. I am different to you, superficially. But on the inside, we all have the same soul. We all, we all have the same frequencies and atoms within, our, within us. Every eye is Rastafari. Wood, fire, stone, water. We are everything. We are made up of all elements in God's image. Now, obviously, it originated due to slavery and uniting African slaves in the 18th century. We all know this is the origin of it. But when slavery ended, it, it never actually ended. It just changed the way we perceive it. We have all become slaves to a corporate system of Babylon. We all suffer from consumerism and, and force-fed misinformation. Rastafari is about unity and one love and understanding that we are all the same people, animals, we are all children of God. Like Hale Selesi says, anybody who thinks that there's a difference between Muslims, Christians and Jews are an enemy to Ethiopia because Ethiopia needs to stand together because when Africa stands together and Africa unites and shares this message with the rest of the world, they will become the role models. You will become the role models for the rest of the world. People will bow down to Africa again. It will come full circle. It's inevitable. You look at Western cultures today and we're all brainwashed by this system. We're all dead men, duppy men, yeah? You look at us and the ones that are waking up are stepping out of Babylon one by one. They're all looking for a way out. We all begin to search for the truth. I relate to Rastafari because I am a slave. I've been I've been made a slave by the same system that's, that enslaved you. We need to stop looking at the differences and start looking at the similarities. Like Bob Marley said, until the, the, the colour of someone's skin matters no more than the colour of their eyes, then I should say war. There will always be war until we come together and unite. Rastafari isn't about smoking weed and having dreadlocks. Rastafari is about understanding and appreciating the Creator and the in the and the part of God that's within all of us. Jar Rastafari, one love.